Hello everyone and welcome to the Trimming Hedges channel. Today we're going to be opening up Top Star Wars 2023 Finest. So if you're looking for an honest review of these cards, you have come to the right place because I'm not going to be hyping up some cards that are really not worth hyping up. And I'm just going to let you guys know if this is something I think is worth purchasing. I have watched some videos so far. The set officially released today on Wednesday the 29th of November. So I'll go ahead and uh, open up this box. I do have one other box that I'll make another video for, but I'll go ahead and open up this box to let you guys know what you're looking for inside. So it does have two mini boxes. There should be an autograph in this one, or one of them, and then there's gonna be either an autograph or a sketch card in the other one. Thankfully, this set does not have like weird medallion cards or anything like that that you have to worry about uh, getting because that is just always a bummer. So, and a lot of other ones that have these, it's just, I don't know, the medallions sometimes are okay, but I really prefer to just get another autograph or something fun. So it would be really cool if we could pull a sketch card. The, they don't really give the odds of that, um, or at least we don't know what they are right now, but we'll see if we can pull something from here. All right. There are some pretty cool parallels in this set. Uh, so some inserts, and then the main thing that you are going to be looking for also is some color. So you want a super fractor or something along those lines. All right, let's pop these bad boys open. Let's see if we can get something fun. So I really do like the chrome look. Oh, we already got some color there, purple. Now this is one of the insert sets, Tales of the Jedi for this one, and I'm really excited about it because I really enjoyed that show. So let's see if we can get some other cool cards. All right, so we already hit one of our autographs. It is a purple wave out of 75. We have Princess Leia Organa from Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's a pretty cool card. And then we have a couple other base. So let me get this one in a sleeve here. All right, so odds are you're gonna be hitting some lower end value-wise autographs. It's still pretty cool to get some color out of there. So odds are you're gonna get that. So I'm hoping for some other cards that have some parallels to them. This is another insert set. We have Warriors, Luke Skywalker, that's a pretty good one. And then excited to see Garza Fwip in here. That's a good one. Alright, and then there's one other insert set, Enemy of the Empire. Hopefully we can get something from there because they are pretty cool looking. Got Ray, Mace Windu. Oh, we got a Teal out of 199, Poe Dameron. Not exactly what we're looking for, but that's okay. And then we'll do a little recap at the end. And, oh, Star Wars Moments. Insert there. And then some more base. So it's typical kind of chrome style for finest. The color, as you saw with, with the base parallels, is going to be along the side there, along here. And another Warriors insert. And then all the, the numbers for the base are going to be up in there, like we saw with the autograph. And these are 150 a box, so keep that in mind. Uh, ooh, we got something. All right, all right, we got to add a 50 Chewy Warriors. Not too bad. Get him sleeved up. So if you're hitting a parallel out of the out of the insert sets. That's obviously a harder hit. That's pretty nice. All right, so quick recap out of here. Our first mini box, not too bad. So out of 199, out of 50, and then a numbered autograph. I'm a big fan of Visions, so I would really like to hit the F auto out of here, the Jedi, that'd be pretty cool. Here we go. Okay, base. 
Space Base, and then another Tales of the Jedi. We got Dooku. Princess Leia Organa. Another Warriors insert. Oh, we got our second autograph here. It's a base. Let's slow roll that. Aha, all right. Not exactly what you're looking for. So Fiona Shaw from Andor, but I guess that'll work. And her base card right after that. I am not gonna be wearing gloves. Sorry, that's not gonna happen for these. I know some people like to wear <laughs> gloves. Opening, especially chrome, but that's not gonna happen for me. Some of these colors over here are really messing me up because it makes me think it's parallel. Soka, nice. And just a whole bunch of base in that one. Come on, baby. A moment's Fennec Shand. Then a whole bunch more base. So out of this box, all we have so far is that autograph. Open for something else. For, so far, what I've seen, I've thought is around one parallel per mini box, but let's find out if I'm wrong. Another Warriors insert. All right. Or it could be two numbered per master box, which is kind of looking like the case here. Uh, okay, just kidding. All right. <laughs> A 25. 24 to 25, Obi-Wan Kenobi. That is actually a nice card. Um, all right, see, and the color messed me up. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with that one. That's actually a really nice card. So the color messed me up because as you're going through these, typically you might look up here or something or on the side and the only color you're gonna get is along there on the base. So, all right, quick recap of box number one. Now we'll be putting up a box number two video here soon so stay tuned for that so we got obi-wan we got our couple autographs here we got an out of 99 and then an out of 50 chewy all right hey so as long as you're hitting the color as long as you're hitting the color then you're doing pretty good in this set because these are what is going to be worth value wise now if you don't care you're just opening it for fun cool beans but for $150 a box, you're going to you're gonna want to feel like you got your money's worth at least. And uh, that'll do it. So thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned for video number two.